Today we want to talk about breathable waders, kind of touch on what breathability in a waiter is and how it functions and what goes on, and then really what to wear under your waiter. What you're wearing under your waiter is really the most important critical thing that kind of goes into uh, breathability as far as you know what we talk about and what we say is breathability. So let me clear up and kind of talk about breathability just for a second. So breathability in a waiter and what everyone needs to understand, it, it's not really that airflow that you feel on a summer day when you have on a really lightweight shirt or really white wet garment, you can kind of feel the air moving through it and people say, oh man, this shirt's really breathable. That's not what breathability is in a waiter. Breathability in a waiter, or any, really any kind of waterproof garment, a jacket or anything, is the movement from uh, the moisture and gases that naturally occur from your body to the outside layers of the fabric and then how it dissipates into the environment. And what I mean by that is, so what happens inside a waiter, or inside a breathable jacket or anything like that that's waterproof, when we talk about breathability, breathability is MBT. And MBT is moisture vapor transfer. So through the normal process of your body, you're always emitting gases and moisture that's coming off of you. All humans, you know, we're all 98.6 degrees. So if we go out on a day that's 50 degrees or 30 degrees or below zero or even 70 degrees, you automatically have a difference between the outside air temperature and then what your body is. So if it's, you know, if it's 50 degrees outside on kind of a cool morning, you're 98.6 inside it, you've automatically got this 50 degree temperature swing from the outside of the fabric to the inside of the fabric. And a way to understand that, kind of just a visualization, is the simple idea of a red solo cup. A red solo cup is full of ice. Mine's got water in it. You put it in whatever you want to put in yours. And you can see almost instantly you get moisture on the outside. Uh, this condensation uh, that comes from having something cold inside to hot outside in reverse is what happens in the waiter because you've got something really warm inside and cold on the outside. You can see this cup's not leaking. There's not a hole in it, but there is some moisture on the outside of it. That's condensation, the difference between the outside temperature and the inside temperature. Same thing happens in a waiter. So when you're wearing a waiter, you wanna have on something that is naturally wicking that can help the waiter pull that moisture away from you. So we have, in Shin, we've got the Sherpa fleece pan. Fleece is very naturally wicking. I mean, it's great at it. It'll pull moisture directly off of you, get it to the outside of the pan, get it to the outside of the layers of the waiter so it can dissipate to the outside environment. Uh, merino wool is excellent for it too. Merino wool is great. Uh, really cold days, you mix merino wool with the Sherpa pant set for really any kind of cold temperatures and it's very comfortable to wear and you'll be very dry the entire time. Uh, the layers of the waiter. So then, you know, if you look at the benefits of the shin waiter is we're four layers. Uh, there's other waiters out there that are three layer and the negative side to a three layer, which is a benefit to the four layer is, you know, when you go into the water, let's say you start wading in water and you're knee deep or thigh deep or waist deep or even deeper. Once you're in that water, the material that is submerged below the surface of the water your breathability gets cut completely out. So that moisture vapor that happens around your waist, kind of in the crotch area, behind the knees, the inseams, around the thigh, the, the areas that kind of put out the most moisture vapor, when it's in the water, it gets trapped. There's nowhere to go. So if you have three layers on, it comes off your body, it goes through the two layers of material of the waiter, it hits the, that outside layer that it's submerged underwater and there's nowhere for that to go. It has to come back on to the garments that you're wearing. The benefits you get into with a four layer waiter like the shin waiter is you have that extra microporous layer that'll help pull that moisture away from your body, dissipate it up or down the, the fabrics of the waiter until it can dissipate into the outside environment. That is pulling that moisture vapor away from you. Uh, when it can't pull moisture vapor away from your body, it'll kind of come back on your outside fabric and you'll see these little uh, circles of moisture usually behind the knee or inside the thigh or crotch or areas like that. And sometimes it'll make you kind of think, well, my later waiters are leaking. I have a 
seeping. You know, seeping doesn't happen in a waiter. A hole in a waiter, whether it comes from a tear or a separated seam or something happens to it, if you have a hole in that waiter, it's like a kitchen sink faucet. Once you turn it on, once you have that hole and water starts coming in, water finds it, it never stops. That's a leak. That's a problem is when water doesn't stop. Uh, if you get out of your waders later in the day and you have like a little circle damp spot behind your knee or in the crotch, generally that's kind of caused by uh, condensation or perspiration depending on what you have on under it. Uh, so I, mean, I know it's kind of a lot of information kind of fast at you, but you know, in summary, you really want to kind of stay away from wearing cotton pants, stay away from wearing like heavy canvas cotton pants. Always try to go toward having a, a blended material on either a, a cotton poly blend or a cotton nylon blend against you, or if you can go 100% fleece or 100% merino or anything like that, it will really help the experience of wearing the waders. Hope this kind of explained a little bit to you. Hope you can have a little better understanding of what breathability in a waiter is and what to wear under the waders.